having been appointed as Chief Justice of the Republic of the Gambia. Hassan Boubacar Jalo was appointed the Chief Justice of the Gambia in February by the new government, making him the second Gambian Chief Justice in the country's legal history. He has since got down to business, administering the oath of office for President Adam Abaro during the inauguration ceremony, with the huge task of reviving and restructuring the judicial system ahead of him. Here, the Chief Justice was arriving for an inductory session, a tradition of the judiciary to welcome the new Chief Justice into the family of legal practitioners. He succeeded Emmanuel Fagbenle, who left after the change of regime. Chief Justice Jalo is a well-respected figure with a distinguished career. He served as Minister of Justice and Attorney General under the Jaura government, and he was also prosecutor of the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda from 2013 to 2015. His appointment has received massive support from the members of the judiciary. We are therefore particularly happy that you are available at this time, at this crucial time, to assume leadership in this country's judiciary. Indeed, you are a man of merit, a man who will enjoy not only our respect and admiralty, but our confidence as well. The country's judicial system has come under serious criticism for its partiality during the former regime, and restructuring the system is a major priority for the new government. With the Gambia enjoying a newfound democracy, the independence of the judiciary is fundamental in safeguarding this newfound democracy. The role of the judiciary in this crusade, according to the Chief Justice, is top on his agenda. For justice of the right quality we are speaking of is an important component of the rule of law and of democracy. And for the judiciary to fulfill that role, judicial officers, we the judicial officers, must be guided by the key principles of judicial independence and impartiality, of efficiency, and by adherence to the highest standards of honesty and integrity. The former Justice Minister also promised reforms as well as restoring the faith and confidence of the judiciary, whilst appealing to all legal practitioners to work towards an independent and impartial judiciary. The members of the Gambia Bar must take greater responsibility now for the machinery of justice. Those senior members of the bar who are in all respects suitable for appointment as judges of the superior courts must now be ready to make the necessary sacrifices in the interest of the nation. The appointment of the veteran lawyer has brought back renewed hope among members of the judiciary. Having such an individual as the Chief Justice of the Gambia as the head of the judiciary is really promising and then I think it very much guarantees the independence of this institution. I'm expecting the changes he mentioned in his speech today and we are hoping to work with him to achieve those changes in the judiciary. The judiciary being one of the free arms of government must be independent to provide for the checks and balances required of a democratic government. This expected that experience that he brings along to this position will certainly be a key factor in sanitizing the country's judicial system which has for long been considered as partial under the former regime. His challenge is to restore the confidence and also the impartiality of this very important arm of government. Mohamed Jalo, GRS News.